Guys, welcome back for day number four of the week of unboxings. I've been filming these a little out of order, but you guys will see them all in order. So let's go ahead and get right into this, guys. We're getting into the first unboxing. It is from the Gra Grave Digger Retro case. And it is part of the Chrome series, number six of seven. It is Captain's Curse. Beautiful looking truck. Love the chrome on this thing. Let's go ahead and unbox it. Yeah, let's try to get it. There we go. Truck out of the box. And let's get our... There. There we go. Let's see here. Captain's Curse logo on there. Let's take a look here, and the first thing we're going to do is compare it to the original Captain's Curse. Looking awesome. Now, I just noticed this one is cool. It has a down, this one has a downward rake to the body, which that looks really sick. Kind of like another truck I review, I'm going to be reviewing later this week. They already filmed, that will be out later this week. So, you know, Captain's Curse. So, again, as you can see here, line them up. The downward rake looks awesome. I don't know if it's just a bend in the body or something, but it looks epic. So here we go. Let's take a look at Captain's Curse. So here you have the Chrome Captain's Curse. This thing is beautiful. The Zamac paint looks awesome. 41 Willies. I might pick up another one of these and for an idea, maybe we're making us a whiplash, possibly. Hint, hint, if they don't make it next year. This thing is cool. Oh, I never noticed how the lights on the... Oh, they changed the casting. Look at this. So on the original Captain's Curse, the lights were actually like embedded in here and just kind of outlined. On the new one, they're actually kind of poking out. They're 3D. That is cool. I didn't even notice that. That is awesome. That's worth picking up another one. See here, you got the... So you got the... Alive side of Captain's Curse with the the pirate before he met his demise at sea and before he was cursed, hence the name Captain's Curse. Here you got the Hot Wheels logo and the Monster Jam logo. I, I think this this color works a lot better for this because you actually see a lot more detail. You know how the red blending in as much. See the tears behind the pirate. See his sword and his hook. So around here, you see the piece of wood with Monster Jam logo goes around he around the back. Fear the Curse, which says the same thing on the black version of the truck. And let's actually compare it to this side. You can see here, this shows up a lot better on the silver than on the black and the red. Or the black one. I don't have a red one. Well, I have one, but it's like way up at the top of my... Uh, um, or actually, oh, I see it. It's over here. One sec. Let me just move a couple trucks. So I don't have it out of box, but I have one in box. So you can see here, Captain's Curse. See, this one, it doesn't even have the outlines. It just has the guy there. Whereas, like, on this, you can see that it looks a lot more ingrained to the body instead of, like, just the logo slapped on the side. And see there, didn't have that. And then on the top. So there, put this off to the side. So here you have, and let's take a look at the hood. Got the tears and stuff. Which we'll compare it to the original. Which looks good. Oh, hey, I just realized I have an error one. It might be an error. On one side it has a black and the other side it doesn't. And you can see one side has that black mark, the other doesn't. So that might be an error, actually. That'd be cool. It'd be one of my first errors, actually. So back to this. Let's see here on Captain's Curse. Chrome. I don't know why my camera is having such a hard time focus. Let me try something. Turn back on the autofocus. So there you go. With the before and after the curse was applied to the captain. 
You see them after the curse. Which, they, it's awesome. I like that. This is really cool. Like, I like this. The new molding on here makes it worth it. Um, the Ford Rake, I really like on it. And it just looks awesome. Take a look at the flag. You have the Captain's Curse with the dual-sided logo. Of the Captain and the, pirate and the Skull. And you have Captain's Curse with a treasure chest, which looks really cool. And the new Monster GM logo. That's cool. That is really awesome. I And that truck just looks pretty sweet. Now, the cool thing is, this was driven by Pablo Huffaker. And if you guys know, Pablo Huffaker is also famous for driving another truck, which is happens to be in the next one we unbox. So you can see out of the Megalodon case, it is the Chrome Truck Chrome Gravedigger. That is number seven and seven of the Chrome. Let's crack into it. It's crazy to think that after these, I'm done with these unboxings this week, I'm done with 2017, except for like two trucks. So there you go. You got Grave Digger logo on the card. And here you have the Chrome Grave Digger. And here it is with its predecessor. To which, not much difference. This one's got the BKTs, this one's got the regular tires. See the logos are all the same except for the Monster Jam logos and the Hot Wheels logo. See it's got the Monster Jam. It's got, well, it's got the red headlights, same flames. Now the only difference is if you guys look at this one for 2016, this one has the four time champion logo, whereas this one does not. So essentially what they did was they just took a truck from earlier this year, which is the orange Morgan Kane digger, and just colored it chrome. So it's essentially just Morgan Kane's grave digger chromed. And I just noticed how on Morgan's, the, the stripe goes all the way to the window, and on this one, it doesn't. That's interesting. So they just colored Morgan's Digger Chrome and, and green. So let's go ahead and take out the old Grape Digger and check out this one. This Grape Digger, very nice. It's still pretty grainy. It's You can't really read the... I don't know why it's not one to focus. You can't really read Tombstones. But I'm okay with it, you know. Let's see. Let's get... That one's got a Phillips head screw in it. So I could easily take this apart and do a custom of it if I wanted. They just kept this curse on one too? Let me look real quick. Can't tell. No, that one looks like it's a rivet. Yeah, it's a rivet in the captain's curse, which I'm not surprised at. But the main reason people are getting this grave digger is because of this new grave digger flag. You can see here. It's got one side, it's got Grave Digger with Mastrium logo, and it's got a bunch of different trucks on it. Let's see, to focus. You see down at the bottom right or left, it looks like Monster Mutt. Over here, you get El Toro. Behind the Mastrium logo, you got Mohawk Warrior. On this side, you got Maximum Destruction. Can't really read it. Over here, you got uh, looks like Monster Mutt something, maybe down here. Oh, no, that's Monster Jam. That's the Monster Jam logo right there. And then over here, it's ingrained in darkness, darkness, so I can't really read it. But on the other side, this is really cool. You've got the Grave Digger Reaper. I don't know why my camera's having a hard time focusing now. You have the Grave Digger Reaper, which looks very, very awesome. I had mounted on the truck. And there you go. So you got the trucks that raced for the, I believe, it was the World Finals. One of the World Finals championships I think these guys raced for or something. Because I think it was, oh, no, it wasn't 06. It might have it been, no, Pablo was in Blacksmith. 
But yeah, so here you guys get a nice little spin around. Captain's Curse and Grave Digger. Both trucks looking absolutely phenomenal. If I had to pick my favorite of the two though, it'd have to be Captain's Curse. Just because this one's a this one's kind of a re-release. With a new flag and a different roof tampo. But hey, you know what? That's fine. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed. This is a little bit of a shorter one because there wasn't as much to talk about. But again, Captain's Curse takes this matchup. And quickly, let's do a rundown of all the trucks we've had so far. So we've had Captain's Curse and Gravedigger today. Yesterday, it was Monster Mutt and Barbarian. If I can get all this to fit. I might not be able to get all these to fit up here. Uh, then, the day before, it was Titan and Ice Cream Man. And then the way we kicked off the week was with the Gold Max D. And, ah, back draft as I knocked down my whole set with knocking trucks off. That's bad. Ah, my set fell apart. That's, that, that's a blooper for later. It's a blooper. But yeah. Um, oh, we're missing back draft. Okay, I'm just going to kind of do this and try to get things to fit. So there you can kind of see Captain's Curse in the middle. So these are all the trucks we've had this week so far. And we've got th four more to go. So as you guys see, there's two, oh wait, two, four, six, eight. Twelve trucks. We're, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Actually, there's 15, or 13, trucks that we got. Eight of them here. So you guys have to wait and see what comes up next. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys have been enjoying the week so far. I've been having a lot of fun doing these videos. And I can't wait to see what's going to come up next. Because I think... Because I think we're going to be getting some huge air to uh, another to another realm pretty soon so i hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys have been having fun with this week stay tuned because we've got a lot more on the way hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next one